Hello, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it's not uh, from your side actually. It was from my side. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Okay, okay. So, what do you think about our topic? What's your name? Your name is uh, Fazlan. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, what do you think? Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. So, I tell you, I tell you, I think you did not understand some hadith. Okay. So, first you mentioned something about uh, the disease. Okay, contagious disease. So, the actual meaning of that one is. Because we believe everything happens with the will of Allah. So that means if it is a contagious disease, it is not going to spread itself unless Allah will. So that is the actual meaning, okay? So, so I don't understand, you know. So is the hadith is something when when the Muslim they say that the story of Muhammad life is documented. Are you talking yes. are you talking about a documentation which is proven to be true or it's full of lies? I'm telling in terms of hadith, okay, you know, already you know about Islam, in terms of hadith, even though we have Sahih hadith, okay, sometimes the possibility it could be a mistake, okay, but but you, but, but when you explain something, you have to be specific and you have to understand the context. So in that first hadith you mentioned, there is no any contagious disease, actually it is talking about the will of Allah, like in Christianity, there is a sect called Calvinism, right, they believe in predestination in the same way. Maybe you know, we also believe in predestination. Three what? So, three what? Predestination. That is. What do you mean? What, what predestination? We Christian, we believe in predestination? No, I think you don't believe, but there's a denomination, Calvinism, right? But, uh, Calvinism. Well, th those are ideas of people, you know, for us, we refer to the Bible. It's not up to somebody. You can come with your own, you know. Uh, uh, understanding, but the Bible yes, has never, the, the Bible never yeah. mentioned. We don't have such a thing. The Bible never mentioned this. So if somebody no. when I became a philosopher and they bring his own philosophy, but, but you are trying to change the topic, my friend. We are talking about what is written in Muslim books, not understanding of the Hadith. It's what it is written. Is it true? Is it false? No, it is true, but the actual meaning is different. The actual meaning is everything happens with the will of Allah. Like if the, if the disease transmitted to someone else, that's happened with the will of Allah. So that is the actual meaning, right? So even if... So, okay, so hold on. So when Ayesha she said that the, we, we were busy with the Prophet death and uh, uh, a goat came and ate the Hadith, even this one need understanding, like uh, you Muslims can be confused about it, uh, about this. A goat okay. ate the Quran. Okay, so now and there was ten times breastfeeding for adult. So what do you think? What is your what is your reaction for Allah sending, uh, you know, uh, uh, such a hadith, and the goat ate it, and it's about what? It's about a breastfeeding for adult. Okay, so in Quran, Allah Himself says He has sent down the Quran. He will preserve it. So also. Do you know, because Aisha said something, I know, I know there's a Sahih Hadith. But when Quran was compiled, the Udman and all the companions, they agree the Quran is complete. So we have Well, nobody, Hadith. nobody of the companion disagree with this. Can you show me? Prove me wrong. So all, no, that's why, okay, okay. this is why, this is why the Hadith is reported from Aisha through hundreds of years, supposedly, and none of you Muslims complain. So I'm asking you now. A documentation yeah, saying that Allah, okay. He commanded Muslim women to give their okay. breast and to feed a foreigner, a stranger, ten times, and this was verse in the Quran, and the goat ate the Quran. Can you tell me what is the verse of a ten time breastfeed for adult? Is it is in the Quran? No, because when the Quran was compiled, Quran yeah. never mentioned that some words are missing. Because all the companion agreed, Quran is complete. Because can you show me anywhere like Uduan or the people who compiled the Quran, the some verse was missing? That's my first point. And the second point, the as a Christian, you can. What is the first? Decide. What is the first point? I did not understand. Say it again okay, slowly, yes. please. Okay, my first point is when the Uduan and the companions of Prophet Muhammad compiled the Quran, did they ever mention we missed something? Because oh yeah, they sure, only... sure, they mention a lot, you know. Because there's okay. tons of hadith speaking that mat yassara minhu, which means what we were able to collect, not all of it, you know. Okay. And okay. yeah, so there is it's documented too. So you see, you Muslims, you claim that the Quran is preserved, 
Uh, there is an Imam, the Mimi Hijab, he just mentioned his name 20 times in the previous video. We prayed this at this time. As Suyuti. Okay. And he mentioned okay. about tons of chapters are missing. As an example, chapter of Al Baqarah used to be equal to the chapter of Al Ahzab. So there is there is there is there is a hundred of verses are missing in one chapter alone. Not in the Quran all. One chapter, which means you can imagine how many is missing in the whole Quran. So it's documented by your scholars and by your companion that the Quran is not preserved and the hadith is a shameful hadith and you Muslims cannot explain to us like now if I ask you what the point of Allah sending Quran for a woman to give her breast and time to a stranger what the point tell me okay you can ask me the first thing in the Bible you think Bible is preserved so Bible is corrupted as well, this point. The Bible is what? Bible, Bible is what? Bible also corrupted. You don't have the Okay, Bible. you see? Okay, I, I will go okay. with you. I will go with you. I will go with you. First of all, when a Muslim, he said the Bible is corrupted, are you saying to me your prophet is a liar? Because the Quran says that Muhammad, he confirmed the Bible, which is between our hands. Is that correct? No. So many hadith. This is not Quran, this is not Hadith. You see, here we go, you play the Hadith now. Oh, this is Hadith, it's not, uh, Hadith says, no. The Hadith never say that, and this is Quran. So, the Quran, the Quran says, as an example, chapter 2, verse number 89, that Allah, he said to Muhammad, that he confirm what is between our hands. And what is between our hands is the Torah and the Gospel. No, can you show me the verse? Because when I just Quran told you the verse, it, chapter 2, verse number 89. Okay, when Quran talks about the angel and Torah, it is talking about the original angel and Torah. Because what you have in the Bible, it is I No, no, no. Why why you jump in, you know, like uh, in the in the speed of light? I just showed you from the Quran that your book okay. confirm our book. You throw a rock at me saying to me, Well, your Bible is corrupted. Secondly, you, when a Muslim he say your Bible is corrupted, isn't it supposedly the Bible is the Bible of Allah? No, I am telling if the Bible is corrupted. Who is the Bible the Bible of Allah or not? Is Allah who is the one who sent yeah. the Injil? Okay, so yeah. Yeah. so when you say when you claim that the Bible is corrupted, you are insulting your God, saying to us your God cannot protect His book. Correct? No, no, it is not about the protection of the capability. Okay, of the the, when when somebody corrupt the Bible, did he corrupt the Bible according to Allah will or to His will? Can I do something against Allah will? No. Okay, so are you saying to me now, everybody heard you, that nobody can do something against the will of Allah? So are you saying to me it was the will of Allah to corrupt the Bible? No, because in Islam it is... How no, hold on, how no, how no, you just said no. I said to you, can I do something myself against the will of Allah? You said no. Then I ask you, listen carefully, then I ask you, can somebody corrupt the Bible against the will of Allah? You said no. So the Bible is corrupted according to the will of Allah. So the one who wanted the Bible to be corrupt is Allah. That's what you are saying to me. No, that is, I think that is not an logic because according to Islam, whatever evil, it is come from the man. The evil deed, not... It's what, it's what, it's what? It's what? That means the evil deed, okay? Something good... No, 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 you see, hold on. If I wanna, this is the book of Allah, this is not an evil deed? Yeah, I'm telling Can you I, can yeah. I, hold on, can I corrupt the Quran? No, because in Quran, okay, hold on. Allah, so hold on. No, no, before we continue, before we continue, before we continue. So I cannot corrupt the Quran. Why? Go ahead. Because in Quran, it is mentioned Allah will protect the Quran. Allah explicitly mentioned. I challenge you, I challenge you to show me the verse where it says Allah will protect the Quran. Because I don't have the verse in my head. I have to go. My to friend, it. I will give you 10,000 years. The Quran never mentioned Allah will protect the Quran. The Quran said that nobody can change the words of Allah and the Bible supposedly and the Torah according to Islam is the word of Allah. And the Quran says if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So if Allah say in the Quran, nobody can change or exchange the word of Allah, 
then nobody can exchange the word of Allah. Allah never said anything about protecting the Quran. No, first, first people, you have to understand, when we say it is the Quran, it's the word of God, okay? In the Bible and Torah, Injil and Torah, it is an eyewitness account. This is not a word it's of what? God. It's what? It's what? It's what? It is an eyewitness. Eyewitness means the people who saw, here they wrote it down. It is not a word of God. So okay, who, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, you, are, you, you know, I, 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 I know, I don't know what you ate before you call me. Why you are changing the topic? Allah, he no, said, no, hold on. Okay. Allah, he said, chapter 6, verse number 34. Nobody can change the words of Allah. Is the Injil and the Torah is from the word of Allah. Nobody can change the word of Allah. The context is Quran. It is not talking about the Bible, not Torah. Okay, okay, hold on. So, okay. But, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. How you know it's talking about the Quran? Because already it is mentioned in the Quran, the Torah and Injil were corrupted because it is clearly mentioned that even in the early Islam, like Ibn Abbas had that opinion, the Torah and Injil... Who, who, who? Who have opinion? Ibn Abbas, okay. Ibn, Ibn Abbas. Abbas, okay, hold on, guys. Ibn Abbas have opinion. I say to you, show me what your prophet said. Show me what the Quran said. You say yeah. to me, Ibn yeah. Abbas. Okay, yeah. hold on. Do you have a book of Do you have a book of Ibn Abbas? No, no, it is, in, it is in the Quran. No, listen, listen. You mentioned to me opinion of Ibn Abbas. I did not hear it yet. We want to hear it. No problem. But do you have a book of Ibn Abbas? No, I am so how you know Ibn Abbas, he said what he said? You are the one who is changing the topic, so why can't we stick to one topic? No, I we are in the topic. You are the one who mentioned Ibn Abbas, not me. So I'm asking you, Ibn Abbas said, where you get what Ibn Abbas said from? It is from his tafsir. Tafsir, okay. Can you show me the Sahih Hadith from the Tafsir saying the Christian, they change their book, which is Sahih, which means we can find it in the Bukhari. We can find it in Sahih Muslim. We can find it in any authentic. So we can take it into consideration. Can we? No, it is, it is, it is mentioned in the Quran itself. The Torah and Angel is corrupted. Where it mentioned that? Okay, if you can show me that, I'm going to shave my 25-foot beard. The Quran says, that will help you. We do not know your Quran, obviously. kalum an mawadi'ihi. They change their location. How? You read the interpretation, it says, a Jew, he put his finger over the verse. That's it. How that is a change? How, how, how that is a corruption? He put his finger. Your prophet was sitting next to him. The Jew, he put his finger over the Torah. How that is a corruption? So now, if you are sitting next to me and I put my finger over a word in the Quran, my finger, is that will make the Quran corrupt? I will, let me show you the verse, okay? What? Uh, okay. Let me show you the Quranic verse, okay? Okay. So, okay. Let me tell you one thing before that one. So, hmm. in early Islam, okay, we had two opinions about the Injil and Torah. You okay. have, you have two opinion. You have two opinion. Yeah. Okay. Why you have yeah. two? Uh, why you have two yeah. opinion? Yeah. Let me let, let me speak, okay? In no, no, no. I, you see, yeah. we are talking, my friend. We are having a conversation. Take it easy. Yeah. Why you Muslim have two opinion about simple thing? I mean, are you saying to me that Muslims agree about not to agree? Why we don't have one? Why we don't have one opinion? Yeah, because in the Quran it is mentioned uh -huh. Bible and Surah are corrupted, but it is not explicitly. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So yeah, in yeah. the Quran it mentioned, okay. hold on, in the Quran it mentioned, and I challenge you to tell me where, that the Bible and the Torah is corrupted, and yet you have two opinions about it. How? Why? Yeah, first of all, you have to let me speak what I have to say, because if you are going to continue to interrupt me, there's no way I can tell what I have to tell. So I'm, I mean, tell I'm very much into details, so you cannot escape what you say. And be careful, I'm telling you, whatever you say yeah. is going to be used against you. Now, yeah, give, me, give me the two opinions and give me the verse saying that the Bible and the Torah is corrupted. I will give you the verse. Before that, let me tell you that opinion. The first opinion was the meaning, the text was not changed, but the people, the rabbis and the monks, they changed the meaning. The ah, text, the text, see, now, text. look guys, the, the text did not change, but the meaning changed. How that can be corruption? Yeah. Okay, let, that is the first opinion. Okay. Okay, hold yeah, on, hold on. Know. You just told me, you just told me, you Muslims have two opinions. 
I can challenge you to find me one verse in the Quran. You don't have a thousand opinions about it, which means thousands of meanings. So according to you, Islam itself is corrupted because the text did not change, but you have too many meaning. Everybody have his own meaning. <laughs> don't you see in the Bible you don't have different opinions? Okay, at first. No, 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 no. You see, you see. Oh, hold on. No, we cannot have different. Op we cannot have different opinion about Jesus saying, "Whoever you know uh, ask, I will give. Whoever you know believe and he die, he will live. Uh, whoever believe in me, you know, ask in my name." Uh, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the truth and the life. How that can even be opinion? You Muslims, you have different opinion about everything. Name one thing, name one thing for me. You don't have a different opinion about. And let me ask you again, please. Listen, you just agreed, everybody heard you, that the text never changed. And we changed the meaning. Can you give me an example? Okay, because you said thou. There was no different opinion in the Bible because I have gone through the Bible history. Okay, if you see the earlier stage fathers, they had so many different opinions about the Trinity itself, like Clement of Rome. No, yes, yes. there is no. That's not. That's not true. Those are not the Christian, my friend. No, my friend. The, okay, the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, don't don't go, don't go there, don't go there. I mean, this looks stupid. Let me, let me, let me, let me make it simple for you. When you say to me uh, that we have the book and the text never change. So now if we open the book which we have between our hands, does the book does the, does the book mention it clearly the Trinity or not? Yeah, look, yeah. Okay, let me tell you the second point because you never let me speak. This is the point. That no, because I will not let you jump like a horse from place to place. No. When you say no, something, not... you have you have to you have to prove it. And look what you okay. just did. look what you just did. You just agreed. In the beginning you said that the, the Torah and the Bible is corrupted. Now, you said, no, they are not corrupted as text. They are changed as meaning. Okay, I will go with you. Hold on, I will go with Oh, I will go with you. Hold on, I will go with you. I will go with you. So, when the God... When, hold on, my friend, my friend, my friend. I want you to explain to me one verse Jesus, he said. I am from above, you are from below. Let me tell you the second opinion. My because friend, opinion. I give, give me your opinion. I want to see how smart you are. Jesus said, I am from above. You are from below. Okay. What does that mean? You tell what does that mean. Huh? It, just, it, it means many things. Okay. What? It means what? Yeah. You tell what it means. You tell it is uh, he's the goat. Okay, then I can ask you. No, 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 no. You see, why you, are, why you don't tell me? Here we go. You said to me, you agreed that this is a book never been changed. The text is the same. Okay. In the, in the, as no, an man, example. No. Yeah, see, let, me, let me finish. Why can't you finish? Because how much time we have to spend? We have time. We have time. We have time. You see, on it, whatever you say, I'm going to hold you from it. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you escape with what you said. So now, when Jesus says, before before Abraham I am, how you can explain that to me? You are the Muslim, explain the Bible for me now. Go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. Before, even the devil, Satan was before Abraham. So if he got... No problem. But Jesus is not Satan. Do you agree with me that Jesus is not Satan? Yeah, but it is... It is okay, so don't... Why you are comparing Jesus to Satan? Are you being stupid now? <laughs> Okay, yeah, did, did, Jesus, did, Jesus, did Jesus, did Jesus, did Jesus say that before the word exists, he was exist? No, you are the one said before Abraham, Jesus was, I'm telling you, if that is the logic, he is the God, then devil should be God too, because even devil was existed before Abraham. No, even you say before Abraham, Abraham, before Abraham, that means before all the father of the prophets, Jesus was. How he was, explain to me how he was, how he was, how he is claiming that he exists when he is born of Mary. How you explain that? Okay, you can say, you can, I can say you the same. In Bible, Jesus said, only father knows the other. No problem. We, we, we can go there. We can go there. You see, here we go. You are jumping. I'm asking you now. We go, we go to the hour. Your God do not know the hour. Jesus, he said, he did not say, I do not know the hour. He says, okay. my father. He just said, my father. So you just said, admit it, that the Bible is not... Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So the question is, when Jesus, he said, my father, did Jesus say that I am the judge in the judgment day? So the father, he have a job to do. He is the one he will announce the day of judgment. The son, he will be the judge over mankind. 
So this is why we believe in Trinity. The Father have a job. He, as Jesus, he said, I work and my Father work too. What is the work of the Father? When it's time, he will announce the day of judgment. That's why he called him the Father. The Father mean is the one who I, me, myself, I have my authority from him. We Christian, we don't believe that Jesus is the Father. We believe that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person. Hold on, just wait, just wait. So what you are confusing yourself with, because you are a Muslim, you don't learn Christianity from us, you learn it from the from dummy Muhammad. So when Jesus said, I am before the whole world as with you, uh, I was with your Father, that means Jesus was exist from the beginning of the time. 